Hello everyone, Oliver Duck, Ted here, back with another custom. Today, I'm doing Railway Series Blue Side Plates Toby. This model was one of the first ones I made after I decided to start making YouTube videos, but it was before I decided to make custom videos for these models. Therefore, I do not have any video of me making this model. The blue was achieved by spray paint. I spray painted it all of the side plates and cow catchers, and later on, I added the grey front and back as well as the red line. There is also a slight touch up on the roof of white as it is already chipping off. Now this was not 100% successful. There was a rough line between the side plate and the body. This line has improved more recently before the model was used for videos. But as you see in these pictures it was pretty rough back then. The model came out brighter than I wanted it to. So. I decided to draw a black sharpie on it and smudge it into the paint. This gave it a gruff working look, which also darkened the tone of the color. I think this worked very well. I'm going to be using him in my series. Blue side plate Toby isn't necessarily everyone's cup of tea. There are many people who prefer his TV series livery. I personally prefer the railway series livery, and that is why I turn him back into blue side plates for my series. I enjoy it. It gives variety to Toby. Toby model is one of these models that I had a few of. I wouldn't mind throwing one into this style. This is a great first step of customs if you want to try and experiment with a plastic only painting job or something rather and you have a spare Toby lying around. It is also an interesting first step if you want to modify your wooden collection to look more railway series. There's many ways you can do this, which I've outlined in many of my other customs videos. But this is one which is relatively low cost and easy to do, compared to buying a whole second set of Donald and Douglases and painting them, or Scarlet Railway engines, or more rare models. Toby is one of the most common models there is, therefore the costs for this are relatively low. The Toby runs beautifully on the layout as of now. I love seeing him on the Thomas's branch line, just improving the railway series accuracy of my shots. I think he's a great asset to any collection of any user. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed Toby, and be on the lookout for future model projects and episodes in the days to come. 